Yeah, yeah Can you identify with faces of the homeless? Have you ever felt like you ain't know where home is? All alone, worst victim of society Services provided are not provided properly They label you a refugee and you a born citizen No one seems to care about conditions you are living in You never know when you gon' have your next meal Temptation have you and Satan making deals I see faces of the homeless every day Doing bad and they hurting in a major way Hoping that the raw take the law pain away Scar for life, cold winter nights Land on the pavement, under the street lights Welcome to Baltimore, the city that bleeds Where they ain't got love for their people in need I said, welcome to Baltimore, the city that bleeds Where they ain't got love for their people in need Langston King, monumental with affiliates How you doing today? I'm fine, thanks uh, What's your name? Sean Fine Sean Fine? Yes And how old are you? 39 well, um, 38, I'm going to be 39 on March 9th. Same age as me. Not quite 39 yet, but we get mixed up, right? So, Sean, um, you're new here to us um, at Hearts Place. How are you liking it so far? It's beautiful, actually. Everybody's very nice. It's comforting. You know, it's important also because coming from the shelter that I was staying at before, I don't know if you've ever heard of Code Blue or not. I have. Um, it's it's really bad. I don't even know how that place is operational. It's very true. But there's no peace of mind there. Everybody's just crazy, including the staff who could really care less about what goes on. So to be in a place like this is a big difference. Wow. I'm, I'm already a lot calmer. Wow. Well, I'm glad you could come here and get some sort of. Some people see it as a retreat, right. and um, I can understand that. In you know, um, we all need to be able to. Breathe right. or relax or you know or take it all in. Exactly. Um, you um, have a family. I do actually. The interesting part is I haven't always been in this situation. I've actually got an eight-year-old yeah. son with an ex-wife that currently lives in Owings Mills. Um, so it's kind of like a tale of two different lives. Wow. To tell you the truth. So how long have you been? How long have you been in your current situation? In this current situation. Um, Shame to say about two years now. Two years. And um, I'm with a young lady right now who I love more than anything. And she's pregnant with my child also. So I do have another child on the way. And that's my main concern. My eight-year-old son is very well taken care of. You know, like I said, he lives in Baltimore County. Um, his wife, or mother, my ex-wife, makes a great living. She's a great mom, takes very good care of him. So he's very well taken care of. Um, and I have a very good relationship with him. That's great. It's just right now, you know, now that I've been clean for a while, that was one of my main problems. I relapsed. Okay. What were you, what drug of choice were you? Uh, heroin. Heroin. Um, Baltimore is known for heroin, yes, correct? It is. Yes, it is. But the fortunate part is I've been able to fight the streets for about a year and a half now maintain sobriety um, and you know it's amazing because I know at one point in my life that wouldn't have been possible okay. but for whatever reason I guess the strength of God you know really is what I can atone it to I haven't even thought about it it hasn't been you know a craving or anything like that it's just now the hardest part has been dealing with sobriety itself because it's you see things clear wow so it's new doors opening up. Absolutely. Um, well, Sean, before we take a little break, because I'm going to let you take a little uh, smoke break, and um, um, will you join me again for part two of this interview? Sure. Great. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Sean, for coming back and agreeing to talk to me. Um, thank you. Part two of our interview, our one-on-one. -on -one, and um, you were... Have begun. You talked about your family, your son, your eight-year-old, yes. and we were moving forward. Your current situation, Correct. Christina, your current girlfriend, and she's currently expecting. Yes, she's about five months now. Um, that's really what my biggest burden is at this point. Um, I have been trying to find work so that way I could also find a place. How hard is it finding work as a homeless man? It's generally impossible. To How? be quite honest. Um, I'm, well, I don't want to say impossible. I mean, you know, a blessing is there, and I do have avenues that I've been looking into, you know, but right now, um,